I can hear it. It's definitely a little bit clogged. Maybe if I just... Is it the filter? I think it's the filter. Oh, it might be. Oh well. Hmm. Probably the bagged one would have been a better option with a HEPA bag. Or just, you know, something that's actually designed for the yard, like one of those leaf vacuums I used to have all those years ago.
Well, look at that. Took all that to finally block it. Didn't block it until it was jam packed. Not even like full, but like full, full. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? Cleaning up, apparently. Don't breathe in all this dust. Not a good idea. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Probably need to pull out the upper part. Ugh. So perfectly wound right around it. Look at that. And, uh, as far as that goes, plenty of stuff all over that. Okay. Woo birds. You going on that? Is Daddy taking you on an actual walk? Who's a good girl? You're a good girl. Yes. No, don't. Ugh. I'm covered in dust. This is a stupid idea. I knew this was going to happen. I knew the thing was going to blow a bunch of dust out. And I would inevitably have to pull this thing apart and clean it up again. But whatever. Take these inside, thank you. Okay. What are these? Nail clippers? Oh! Dogs. Doggy nail clippers. Ruby, did you get your nails that trimmed up? Lovely. Alright. I'll just, uh... I'll just ignore everything that's... wrong with this. Roll that dust! sounds a bit grody. Ugh. This is so stupid. I'm sure some people will find it satisfying that one of these hyper budget machines is getting uh, abused like this, but it can take it as you can see. I mean it's other than getting stopped up a couple times. It's powered through all of it. Yeah, it blew a bunch of dust out of the exhaust, but I mean, obviously this is a torture test, and I can't really expect it to be designed to withhold these parameters. I mean, for 50 bucks, what can you honestly expect? I'd suspect that even the bad version of this would uh, blow out a bunch of dust, and I can attest to that because I used to use the bagged version of this as my outside vacuum. And even with a HEPA bag, it would still blow out a little bit of stuff, a little bit of dust. Obviously a lot more with the paper bag, and obviously a lot more, or about the same, if not a lot more, 
with the bagless system. But yeah, so that's the Bissell Power Force Helix vacuuming the yard. Hopefully you enjoyed this super quick torture test. Did I just break the pedal? pedal? Oh, I actually didn't. Look at that. <laughs> Thought I broke it, but nope, it's still fine. So yeah, there's obviously some scratches on the base plate after running it along the concrete. But as far as the motor, I mean, I open this thing up, give it another bath, and uh, yeah, this is this will be perfectly ready to go to another, probably... Well, maybe not another in the case of this machine specifically, but a good decades-long service. Uh, at least assuming the next owners of this machine are perfectly capable of changing belts and washing filters. If they're not, then yeah, this thing's going to not last nearly as long. Is that cracked right there or is that just dust? Okay, that's just dust. I thought it was cracked right there. Nope. No cracks. So yeah, I've tried to sell this machine for like a while now. Nobody seems to want it. But uh, yeah, I'll clean it up again, uh, list it again, put a proper new belt on it because the belt that's on this is a little bit chewed. It still managed to take all that abuse though and the belt still didn't snap. But uh, I mean, obviously I can't reuse the belt. I wonder what it would take to make the belt snap. Other than, you know, short of actually jamming it on something. Let's clean off these steps. So this is going to scratch the heck out of it. But, yeah. Let's clean off these steps. Put it back on medium. See how well handles all these rocks. This is going to be crunchy. Warning. Oh. Ugh. All that dust. Look at all that dust. not actually full but we can tell there is a clog right at the base of this hose like there always is
Here, pause that. Pause that for a second. I don't know if those are, what are those, egg whites or is that glass? I don't know what that is. But, uh, whatever it is. It's going to get cleaned up. Move this cord out of the way.
the belt broke. So, does it have a little safety mechanism where you can... Oh, that's nice. So they actually built in the little safety mechanism, so if you lift it, you can't can't pull this off and have it drop the rest of the vacuum. But yeah. I mean, it did a good job. It, it picked a bunch of stuff up. It's a little bit dustier now, but I mean, what, what can you expect? Come on, we're falling over. What's that filter look like? Probably awful. Ugh. Not great. We got some big debris that's made it past the cyclone. But yeah, so that's the Power Force Helix vacuuming the yard. Did a surprisingly good job. Belt did break. That's to be expected with a rubber belt and a motor driven brush roll. Again, 50 bucks. What can you honestly expect? And for those who want to see it, the final, final dirt dump of this video. So you can see, powered through all this. See, can I hit the button on the side of the thing? Probably not. I kind of lay it in it. Not hygienic at all, but at least we're outside. Plenty of dust on the hands. Shower is definitely a good idea after this, as is a shower for this thing. But, you know what? It did do the trick. I mean, there was a lot of fuzz and stuff. I still have a couple little pieces, but I mean, the main, like, fuzz and stuff that I was trying to get, I guess there's still some in this corner, but it's enough to where it's not, not going to be unsightly. And, uh... Obviously, it got up a lot more dust and dead grass than it got anything else. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, with all this dust going through the motor, I would not recommend if you do use one of your machines for this, particularly this one, the belt may break after a while if you get stuck on something like a shrub. Or, I don't know what you call this. I'm not a landscaper. But once I finally set it on this thing and it jammed it, that finally burned up that belt. So, uh, yeah. So, but, uh, this thing held up. I mean, yeah, you want, you're gonna want to clean this thing out because there's a lot of dust that's now gone through the motor. If you do this continuously, you're gonna completely destroy the bearings on this thing and it's gonna sound like a chainsaw mixed with a siren. We can see there's a lot of extra scuffs on that base plate, so... Again, if you, if, you, if you end up doing this, you want to have a dedicated machine for something like this. This is obviously a really stupid idea. And there obviously are machines that are better designed for tasks like this. Like this. Like this. But if you, if you were in a pinch and you needed to, to vacuum your yard for some reason, I mean, this handled it. Um, it didn't catch fire. It didn't explode. It didn't fall apart. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Uh, right on the concrete. You got a nice little scuff right there. Oh well. I'm sure, if I sell this thing for cheap enough, someone will take it once I give it the whole refurb treatment. Or, who knows? Maybe no one will buy it and it'll just be the outdoor vacuum. I'll just stick it in the shed. And it can just rot for eternity. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. So, that's vacuuming the yard with the Power Force Helix 2191U. Because, why the heck not? And, uh, a little extension cord action. So, <laughs> interesting little experiment, if I do say so myself. So, uh... Can you use a domestic vacuum to clean your yard? Yes. But should you? Probably not. Definitely not. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's, that's about it. <laughs> so, um, real talk, if you are going to do this and 
uh, you are going to want to take this thing back into your house. I'm not saying you are. You shouldn't. You should just keep this outside and just trash it once it dies. But uh, if you, for some reason, then needed to bring this into your house and do some cleaning, um, get a new base plate for it because all of that concrete that scuffed up the base plate has now created sharp edges that will scratch your floors. And if there are little bits of concrete that are actually stuck in the base plate, that will definitely scratch your floors and tear up your carpet. So if you are going to do this, tear it completely down to the motor, blow everything out, wash it out, completely sanitize the whole thing over again. Um, acknowledge the fact that you're going to have some scuffs on the machine. Replace the base plate so it doesn't scratch your floors. Obviously replace the belt, possibly the brush roll, depending on how bad you screwed it up. Clean everything and uh, you can do it? Eh. Not recommended. Do not try this yourself. I am a professional. I am a professional. So you want to make sure not to do something like this yourself. Be sure to abuse your machines responsibly. This is Intelitech Studio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully one that's less silly than this one. Anyways, have a good one. Peace!